Hula fit. Okay, let's begin. This is the hula hoop that I use. It is 1.4 kilograms and is 108 centimeters in diameter. The beauty about this one is that it's got grips all along the edge so that it's very easy to stop and start. So I started hula hooping end of last year. I went to a class, I thought I'd try it out and they had hula hoops there and I really enjoyed it and thought, well, it inspired me to get a hula hoop and do my own fitness program. Um, this is surprisingly really comfortable, just to add. I look so cool like this, I'm gonna walk around. Um, so yeah, I decided to create a program, um, a Holly, Holly's Hula Fit. Sort of has a ring to it. Yeah, let's go with that for the time being. Okay, let's begin. Okay, first off, I'm gonna talk about the stances that I use. Um, I usually use just slightly wider than hip width. I find it the most comfortable like go-to position if I just want to hula and not do anything else. I say this is a great beginning stance. Um, it's quite stable um, um, it's, I just advise everyone to try this one to start off with. When I go fast, I like to put one foot in front of the other as I can feel I can proper go for it. Some people like to do this anyway. Um, as a normal start, which is absolutely fine, or if you prefer your left foot in front, if you're left-handed or left-footed, shall I say? <laughs> and there's also feet together, which I find the less stable, but some people do like it. Um, but I would say start off with this position and try the others, and whatever you feel is more comfortable. Well, so I'll say with hula hooping, practice makes perfect. When I started, I was dropping the hoop constantly and the more I did it, the more my body got used to it and the more I could do more with my hula hoop. Um, also, girls, if you have your belly button pierced, do take it out because I have had it caught quite a few times and now I've learnt to take it out every time I go hula hooping. Um, I also always wear a top. Um, I never do it bare. Um, it, does rub on your sides and I have got very dry skin and it gave me a rash from the side so I would advise even if it's just a thin top I think it's better than nothing at all. Um, there are my tips for that. Talking about arms, um, I usually have my arms sort of around this position. Um, don't have them down because sometimes your hula hoop may go up and you can whack it. Um, I, sometimes I don't know how it works, but it really, really hurts your elbows. Um, and then you learn to, I know people are lazy and they drop their arms, but a warning, it does hurt because this is a weighted hula hoop. Just to say, you usually keep them about here, it's quite comfortable. And then when I probably, you can use your arms to proper like help the movement if that helps you. And um, it's just sort of getting um, used to the idea of having a hula hoop and just keep it going. Introduction in a nutshell. I'm going to share with you a little snippet from my fitness program. So I like to move with the hula hoop. So I like to go around in a circle, face the back, back, I also say behind, and then I went with back. Um, and I just like to move, so like step into the side, um, or just stepping out and in, like sort of a dance, but a hula, like a hula dance, and then forward and back. Um, and also thinking of doing it with my arms, so like doing a workout with your arms as well, um, as well as hula hooping. I find it very enjoyable, as you can tell I'm like, I don't know if I'm just really unfit right now because I'm actually out of breath or because I'm talking. I've never really talked and hula hooped at the same time, so it's always good. And then to stop, I just grab. Um, and then walk around. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I don't quite know. Ooh. Ah! Ow, 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 my head. <laughs> my head, my head. So I set up my camera so that it would be the perfect angle view to hula hoop, but I never thought about intro or outro, so this is why I'm just like monkeying around, a doll-like. Um, <laughs> what an app to See, if I stand up, you can't see my head. So I'm just gonna, this is so bad for my posture. Uh, well, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this has helped with hula hooping. Um, if you are getting into it, I think it's a great way to do when you're like watching telly or 
just when you're doing something else and um, it's quite enjoyable I found it like I've just it's just inspired me to actually create a program because oh it's really uncomfortable now <laughs> um but thanks for watching um keep your eyes peeled for, for more hula fitness workouts and I shall see you all very soon bye bye